we head into game three, oddball on Guardian. Triggers down, they need this game to stay alive here and final boss they're gonna look to end this one strong Sundance they have won 11 of their fat last 15 games and five games in a row uh, it's insane you think about it, they, they you th thought they might be tired but they definitely stepped it up I think that series against Dynasty all the smack talk really got their juices going you saw fear really get into it and I, I'll tell you what Pistola is having the series of his career Honestly, really keeping his team in a position where they can close this out with three straight games right here. Definitely an MVP performance today from Pistol. I don't know how he's done throughout the rest of the tournament, but tonight he is really impressive, folks. And the thing that's actually surprised me is we see Neighbor has returned to his down and dejected way once again. We haven't seen that yet this season, and this is the first tournament this year. Final, I've seen it. Final Boss is doing a great job of shutting him down from what I've seen so far, but right away you see Trigger's down getting that first oddball and they're setting up on blue room Scott and that's what you're wanting to do you never want to go snipe set up against final balls they get so many points from it I think that, you know Gandhi we heard about it earlier when we were watching them against Dynasty you know I think TD was even talking about having to be prepared for, for this game type should it come up and you know what the thing about it is right now final boss they can play loose they can play free they can just wait to get the ball into that setup knowing that they're gonna get big chunks of time yep and that's what they're gonna look to do right now they can take their time and they're not worried about this game type, really. They know they have this in the bag as long as they get it to Sniper. And you got to give props here to Triggers down to start the game. They have 32 seconds within the first 1.30 on the clock here. Great job by TD to just take it back to Blue Room. And then once they're there, not really worry about the Sniper, not worry about getting Final Boss off that Snipe Tower. Let them stay there. We'll just collect time. And that's but and that's one of the flaws with Final Boss. If they if if you're gonna have to pick out a flaw, they love the power weapons. I mean everyone does, but there comes a time when you, the objective is more important. We're gonna switch over to Hysteria. Remember the camo gonna be coming up every two minutes on this map. Hysteria looks to be setting up for that second one. And he's got a battle in front of him. Best man making his way to top snipe to help provide some cover fire. And neighbor looks like he's going after the oddball. Very objective minded his triggers down to start this game. Yeah, and Hysteria should have been paying attention right there to the camo. He should have just sat up on the ledge because that camo is very important. Seen a lot of miscues out of Trigger's down the last couple of games. Seen Neighbor make a few questionable decisions just in terms of his route running. You know, they really need to get as much time here early as possible because you know Final Boss is going to come back and try and chip away. But also just for the mental aspect, they're down two. They need to get a nice buffer here so that they have something to work with. Otherwise, again, they're going to get desperate and you never want to have to play in desperation. Right now you are watching as Fear itself from Final Boss has grabbed the camo and his team trailing by 55 seconds. But like we said, it's early in the game. Pistola going to steal his sniper rifle, but all Final Boss converging on the snipe tower. And Scott, this is exactly what Final Boss wants. They need to set up here on, on snipe. Yeah, now watch Fear itself just walk up here, put shots and tots, and then grab this ball and get it down into green as quickly as possible. Great job by Best Man to get a shot off. Fear itself with a slight fumble. Couldn't grab the oddball on his way back to the snipe tower. But nice cover fire once again from Victor. X. He and Ogre 2 have really impressed me in this tournament, laying down cover fire, allowing their teammates to stay alive. You guys were talking about it in the earlier series against Dynasty, about every time somebody's being finished off by fear itself, it seems like there are bullets flying from across the map. Team shots, impeccable. Communication's great. It seems like Mazik's doing a fantastic job with the timing as well. Yeah, he fits in real nicely on this team, doesn't he? Looking good with that final boss hat. All right, here we go, Five, 55 seconds to 15. Final boss finally getting a few seconds, but once again, neighbor and friends breaking the final boss setup, stealing the oddball, and just taking it away from the final boss spawns. I'm very surprised Triggers Down is rebounding this well right now, Chris. After a beating, after losing the first series and being down 2-0 in the last series, I don't even know if I could bounce back from that. And this would be huge for them. If they win this game type, that is going to give them a lot of confidence. They know that they can win. They just have to put an end to Final Boss's run and steal their momentum. What we've seen is that it's been all about momentum, as you said, Chris. Earlier today, Final Boss fighting their way back. And, you know, Triggers Down yesterday was, were world beaters. But right now, they just need to get some of that edge back and start playing the way they were yesterday. Here itself taking the ball back to Snipe Tower here for Final Boss as Victory X is set up in green. Ogre 2 on the flank back at Blue and Pistola on your screen. He's making his way top Snipe Tower. Great Grenade's going to take down Pistola as Neighbor picks up a big double. And now we are going to switch over. All four dead for Final Boss. Let's go check out TD as Hysteria has that camo once again. And Final Boss is just can't get set up right now. Trigger's down doing an excellent job keeping the ball out of their hands. Hysteria's got about another 25 seconds left on this camo, and he's also got a mauler. 
taking heavy shots here, though. He's putting himself in dangerous positions as the ball is going to go down on elbow. Great grenade from Ogre, too. Just too much as final boss. TD unable to set up, but check out the play balls. Every single time final boss pushes in, TD is making sure to make sure that <laughs> they're making sure that they're making sure that the ball goes right back to the top. And of that's center. exactly what you want. Anything to keep the ball is so important. About 100 seconds to 30 and counting here for final boss. You got Fear itself going up against Best Man whiffing a couple times. He is going to be taken down. And then over here on the TD side of things, check who's out. Got the sniper once again. It's Tots for Triggers now. Now Tots has really stepped up this tournament as a main slayer almost in the same sense because he's making the plays that are dictating if his team wins or not. You know, the big thing with TD that I've noticed is that no matter how well one or two of the players seem to be playing, every game somebody has a rough game. If they can balance out their play a little bit and spread the load, I think they could do well here. You see right now, it seems like they're sharing the load, they're, they're moving things around a little bit, and they're benefiting from it. They're up here by over a minute. They got, if they keep this up, they'll be in a good place. Ogre 2, grabbing the sniper, going down low. You are watching Hysteria set up in Blue Room 108 to 30 seconds here. Triggers down with the lead. They need this game to stay alive. Final boss, one game away from taking home back-to-back -back championships. Fear itself was going for that camel. He's going to be stopped short, and Ogre 2 missed the camel player here. Four triggers down. A nice double kill from Best Man taking down Ogre 2. Now he's got the camo to work with. You're going to see TD make an aggressive push here on the Snipe Tower. Yeah, but they need to make sure that they know that Ogre 2 is going to be spawning in gold because they killed him at green. So they have to be careful getting this ball to green. And Best Man is really bummed that Neighbor wasn't able to pick up the kill top Snipe. He was going to run it straight to Snipe 2, and they would have had a Snipe Tower set up here for TD. But Pistola staying alive there. Once again, Pistola really the difference maker here in this matchup. And that's what he's looking to do. Pistola has always been the thorn in every team's side because he's so sneaky and he's so hard to kill. And guys, we've been talking for a while. I think we should listen in for a bit. I want to hear what Triggers Down is saying because whatever they're talking about, it's working here. They have a 115 and counting to 45 seconds. They're putting Final Boss in their place in this game type. Excited. I, I'm sorry, I, I can't help but go crazy with that play. That was insane. But that's the type of stuff we're used to seeing from Hysteria in the past. We haven't seen that out of him for a little while. Maybe that's going to be the key to spring his team and get everybody playing aggressively. He just dropped 30 kills in game number one. Let's see if he can continue to heat up here. They're down two, but they have the big lead in game number three. 133 to about 60 seconds as final boss trying to take that ball. And great job by Hysteria listening to the callouts, knowing exactly where the ball is going to be. And he cuts off that FB player. Scott, it looks like Fear itself going to grab the sniper here for final boss. And he's also taking the oddball. What do you expect in final boss to set up here? Well, you know, he's going to sit bottom green, and he's going to let his teammates feel him out. And then, depending on where they spawn, he will, he will either go to green and stay there, or he's going to rotate the ball to sniper. You know, I've always been impressed by players who put down the ball to help shoot, but Fear itself just did it with a sniper rifle, dropping the ball and blinding Hysteria. A huge play it allowed the rest of his teammates to push over to Snipe Tower, and now it looks like they have a nice little elbow set up, just Victory X and Fear itself working together as a tandem.
and I'm not sure why Fear Itself threw that ball off. Right there on the edge. I don't know edge. if he meant to, honestly. I think that might have been a, sl a slight fumble. And Tots is going to pick it up here, guys. Check this out. Tots has the ball bottom middle. So just as it looks like Final Boss is going to be able to get a big chunk of time, triggers down, lands up, or ends up with the ball, and they're going to run it away from the FB squad and play it once again. Again, TD with over 60 second lead right here. Just over four and a half minutes left. Final Boss needs to put some, some time together. They need to string a few nice chunks together, but Tots and Trigger Sound just not letting them get into a rhythm. Heads up play with the rest of his teammates down. Tots is going to play that ball. He's going to sit down low and expect Final Boss to come green. Final Boss thinks he's not there. Surprise, says Tots, but we're jumping on board with Ogre 2. He just grabbed the sniper oh. and he's doing work. Missing a few shots on Hysteria, but Neighbor caught one in the tongue. Three dead for Triggers down and Ogre 2 getting position top snipe. Right now he is rocking the snipe mauler combo, so you are not going to see Ogre 2 move at all from the snipe tower. Meanwhile, Fear itself was able to get the camo top middle, and you got Victory X pushing Elba to help out with the oddball. Surprisingly, the snipe the snipe mauler combo is actually just going to work out in this situation just because all his teammates are low and he's going to have no help if they hit snipe lip. So you need an up close weapon like the Mar. Over two. Not super crisp on these shots, but he's taking some difficult angles here. We got Victor X once again pushing in. I never really understood this play out of Final Boss. It seems once they have a nice setup, they send two guys at the enemy. I mean, it's not necessarily bad because as soon as you die, you will spawn behind the other team. And then you will have a better angle on them. Makes total sense. That's why you're the expert. And in the booth, Ogre 2 with the Mauler move, making his way top to Snipe 3. 140 to 113. Final Boss really mounting a comeback in the last two minutes here, guys. Yeah, and Pistola needs to make sure that he doesn't drop the ball as much as he is to help sh help his team shoot. There's times where you just have to get the ball and get back in the game. And finally, Pistola is going to play the ball top middle. Neighbor going to chase him down eventually. Hysteria picking up a kill as well. We got Neighbor pushing top middle, but there's the team shot from Final Boss. It's Victor X and Fear itself. Once again, the tandem doing it down low. And now you got Fear itself putting shots at green. Gets the call out that they're at blue. Looking there, but he can't get a shot through the glass. What's going on with the objective here? Well, Tots ended up staying bottom green, and so they couldn't run the ball there. And they were trying to kill this guy at blue, but Hysteria did a great job at staying alive. So Tots and Hysteria with a pinch. No angle to, for Fear itself. He's frustrated right now, but at least he's keeping Hysteria at bay. Stopping TE from making a push top middle. Two minutes and ten seconds left on the clock. Can Final Boss make a comeback here and win three straight games to win the tournament? Or will Triggers down force a game four? Oh my goodness. Fear hitting all his shots right now. There's the killing spree going for the no scope top middle. He is feeling it. Gets another kill on Tots and he's gonna grab the ball. And you know, that worked out for him last time. Remember, you had the snipe in the ball the last time around when they got that nice chunk of time, but not so lucky this time. And he takes it right back down to green with the rest of his team spawning on snipe tower. So neighbor, he needs to get the ball time or at least just run it away from final boss. Take it to yellow, and that's exactly what he's doing as best man is a distraction, making his way to top snipe. 144 to 116. Final boss still in this one, but triggers down trying to close it out. Don't be surprised if we don't see Triggers Down go for this ball at all top middle. They're going to bait it and hope to God that Final Boss makes a mistake. Best man wants it. You can see it on his screen. He's going for it, and he's going to grab it, take it to green away from Final Boss's respawn over at blue. Heads up played by Best Man. So Best Man sitting safe down green right now. We switched over to Hysteria just as he was taken out. Best Man getting shot from behind. He is going to play that ball. Neighbor, the last one alive for TD. This is exactly what Final Boss needs as Fear itself gets another double kill. Sunday, they need almost every I, second Yeah, left. I just don't know if there's enough time left in this game. They're going to have to play this perfectly. Pistola with the ball at green. You got Fear itself sitting top gold. Let's watch Triggers down here over there, up here in the booth, guys. Keep an eye out who is making a push on the ball. Pistola cannot take Tots any is all fire. over the ball right now. And it's Tots, Pistola not dropping. It goes oh, for the oh. beatdown, and he gets it. But Neighbor's right there as well. And the ball is dropped, and That's Neighbor it. is going to play it. That's it. Wow. <laughs> so final boss having us on the edge of our seats here. They are not going to be able to win this 